Hey guys, this is LPN student Nisha, and I'm here today with a bit of a Sunday motivation video. I am doing a little errand run right now, and I just want to talk a little bit about something that I don't think a lot of nursing students talk about and that's having depression and anxiety while in nursing school. Now, I'm personally someone who has dealt with depression and anxiety on and off for, I guess you could say most of my life between, since I was about a teenager. So it's been a good part of my adult life as well. And Everyone has their own depression and triggers, so for me, um, it's not nursing school per se, but it's, um, it's, it's it can be a lot of outside factors along with nursing school so like for me for example I dealt with some loss you know I haven't really been working full time and um so loss of income has really been something that I had to deal with and I'm just not used to not having money so I think I just started working um also, you know, I was in a long distance relationship for over a year and I um, broke up with him. You've seen in other videos. So that was a loss as well. And you try to bounce back and be strong, but sometimes, you know, you have those feelings where you start to, even while in nursing school, doubt yourself and your capabilities and what you're doing. and your schedule has changed because now you're dedicating most of your time in school so it's almost like you lose the identity of what you used to be and now you're just a full-time student and you're trying to deal with that and a lot of people are trying to do finances and everything so it can really just weigh you down and kind of get you into a rut where you know you're not feeling at your best and a lot of people don't understand that because they're like, you know, oh, you're going to be a nurse and, you know, it's going to be a great career, which it really, it really is. But they don't understand the journey or the trial that you have to go through while you're getting there, you know. It's like when in, someone's going to go run a triathlon and, you know, you don't go into those things without any training and people don't see, like, the stress that you had to to put in the work it's put in to get to that point to be able to run that long race and be able to come out good in the end like you have to train for those so um i just kind of wanted to give everyone a little bit of um, some motivation that if you're going to, through the depression anxiety while in nursing school um just try and maintain your focus maintain your goal in mind make sure you have a lot of positive people around you at least one or two people that you can kind of bounce things off at um off of um, if you can actually have someone in your program that you trust and that you can talk to about certain things because they're going through the same thing as you. So as far as being in nursing school, so maybe, you know, they have their own ways of how they deal with things maybe that they can just be like a listening ear or give you some advice or, or, um, or something like I have three people in my class that, um, individually were close. So like I can talk to one, I might you know, about one thing and they understand that and I'll talk probably talk to another about another thing and then they do vice versa. So I mean if you don't have that then definitely find someone outside of school that can kind of um keep your sanity and try and find some things that you that is your I where your identity is not all about school afterwards. So you can do volunteering, if you have a job, you know, make sure you just focus on your job during that time and not just, you know, about school during that time um try and also make time for yourself which is really really important and time for yourself can be anything it can be just going for a little walk or watching some videos on youtube or 
just something where your mind is not constantly focused on nursing school or else on other things where you know you, it gives you anxiety or the depression I personally I also take um, Xanax but if I do it's not where I'm having to drive or or I'm in school I can't take it during school because I get real sleepy and I'm just a little loopy in a sense so if I do need to take it I'll wait till I get home and I have the time to actually sleep so that I can I can take it and, and be okay and I'm not in, impaired in any way doing anything else so um, that's a little bit of my advice um, if you need to talk to someone professionally I also recommend it as well but that's also having to do with scheduling time I know there's an app called I think it's called talk or speak or something like that but there's an app that you can do where I've actually tried it and you kind of speak to a counselor one-on-one um, -on -one via text message throughout the app so if you're going through like a crisis moment or something that might be an option but it's also they also charge you which I didn't like well I, it's not that I didn't like it. I didn't mind it but financially it just wasn't good for me at the time so I had to find other ways so I don't try I try different ways to kind of see depending on what's going on the situation because a lot of my anxiety and depression stems from sudden changes so within life or basically like personal life and everything so um, I know that that's one of my triggers so um, yeah it's just knowing your triggers and knowing that um, you have people around you that are willing to support you I have like one or two outside of school um, that I can one or two friends outside of school that I, I can talk to and I've known since I was like in middle school so um, that as well um, but um, I'm a very open and honest person so I'm hoping that this will kind of help someone along the lines if you're feeling that way uh, don't give up remember to keep your goal in mind and just be positive or try to maintain positivity throughout the journey because especially if you're in the beginning it's gonna get a little bit harder and you just want to maintain that theme to keep you going and you don't want to give up or drop out because you've already come far there's not a lot of people that have made it into the program that where you're going or um, so that's an accomplish, accomplishment and achievement in and of itself just getting into nursing school so I just wanted to give you guys that positivity um, I'm also very um, like I said I'm an open person so if you guys have any comments or questions or you guys just want to talk please feel free to message me I don't mind at all so that's my little advice to of the day motivational Sunday I'm getting ready to just run a quick errand and get back home and start studying again and finish writing my paper let's do tomorrow so um, once again this is LPN student Nisha hope you enjoy my journey so far and um, click comment subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon bye YouTube